Hello, I'm Captain Lee. The health and well-being of our residents, visitors, and employees is a top priority of the City of Katy. Hello, my name is Jason, and I'm the Assistant Public Works Director. We'd like to provide a brief message from our Public Works operations. Currently, we are continuing operations as needed. We will continue to provide all essential services and functions for our community. The following is a list of precautions that we are taking to keep us all safe. Social distance practices, maintaining six feet distance between workers when applicable, as well as wearing the necessary PPE when dealing with general public. So we ask that you cooperate with social distancing guidelines when communicating with our staff. It would be mutually beneficial to communicate via phone and or email rather than face to face. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation during this time. Thank you from the City of Katy employees. I'm Officer Hughes with the Katy Police Department. Hi, I'm Officer Wiley with the Katy Police Department. First of all, I want everyone to know that we're up and running as always. We've just changed our procedures a little bit. Non emergency calls may be taken over the phone. The information given, that way we don't have to come in contact. We'll still go to emergency calls, we may just do them a little bit differently. We may ask you to walk outside of the house so we can speak to you out there. Also, don't be surprised if you see an officer wearing a mask. That's for your protection and All right, we just want to let everyone know also our lobby is closed. So for any non emergency calls, you need to call 281 391 484. If you do have an emergency, 911 is still the best option. The Katy Police Department is still making traffic stops. If you are pulled over, we ask that you remain in your vehicle, show the officer your license, and when they walk back up to the vehicle, at this time, there's no need to sign. We wanted to take this time to familiarize everyone with how we are responding to calls that may involve potential COVID-19 patients. The video will include a reenactment demonstrating the type of gear and equipment that our crew will be wearing, patient assessment, and our medic unit outfitted specifically for COVID-19 calls. It looks like our medic crew is going on a call now. Let's follow them. Hello, sir. Hi. I'm paramedic Jeff Allen. Um, how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm not feeling well. I have a fever and I have shortness of breath. I took my temperature about 20 minutes ago and it was 101.2. Alright. Take this formula and we'll do an assessment. Put it over each ear and put it up. The paramedic has now determined that there's a presumptive case of COVID-19 and will have the patient apply a mask. Alright, sir. Do you feel like you have enough strength to walk? Yes. Alright, we're going to take it to the stretcher then. The primary par paramedic will ask the patient if they feel well enough to walk to the stretcher. If the patient feels too ill or cannot physically do so, the additional crew members will come in to help. The patient is then loaded into the back of the medic unit. The unit has been converted and will only transport patients with presumptive signs of COVID-19. Once the patient has been transported, the plastic lining gets replaced and the patient compartment is dis disinfected. Upon arrival to the fire station, the medic crew and other exposed members head straight to a dedicated bathroom to shower and replace their exposed uniforms. As our city continues to fight this pandemic, we ask that you do your part. Your part is staying home and only go out for essential purposes. If you do leave your home, please follow the CDC's guidelines and practice social distancing. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.